Hello everybody, it's Ophir Gabay bringing you another video on behalf of First Class Tax Solutions and today's QuickBooks Online tutorial is going to be about uh, recurring transactions in QuickBooks Online. Now setting up these recurring transactions uh, transactions that happen every month or every, every week or um, every year is going to help you save a lot of time, money and energy by uh, eliminating some of those repetitive uh, data entry tasks um, for your bookkeeping. So this is how you're going to set up recurring transactions. There's really two ways of setting it up. You could do it from the transaction itself. So say you're um, you're entering an expense and this is a sample QuickBooks file to let you know. Um, so say we're entering an expense for bank charges and our bank charges us $15 a month. Um, so and then it's coming out of our checking account you could click right here on the bottom of the screen you'll notice it says make recurring just click that and what this does is it gives you a template of the recurring transaction that you want to create and um, on the top left hand corner you'll see uh, where you're able to name the template now um, you can only have one name per per transaction um, I mean per a QuickBooks file so you can't have two transactions with the same name so you're going to want to make sure that um, that doesn't happen so we're just going to call this uh, bank charges monthly and then you could schedule it to appear in advance of whenever they're, they're charging it but um, for this for bank charges purposes we'll have it set up uh, monthly and then we'll specify the day um, it's going to be on the first of every month let's let's assume and you can uh, specify the starting date so let's say it's April 1st 15 and then you right here it allows you to specify when you want this recurrent transaction to end so we'll have it end by uh, next year. So April 1st, 2016. And here you'll have the payment method. You can specify that. You can have a reference number if you would like. And that's it. Uh, that's how you create the recurring transaction for an expense. Uh, another way of creating recurring transactions is by clicking the gear icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then under the list column, you'll see recurring transactions. You click on that and now this is going to give you a list of all the recurring transactions that you have for this uh, QuickBooks company file so as you see the sample company had three well it had two transactions set up and then we set up this one um, so let's let's create another one through using this method and now um, now as you see if you click you, you have to click the new on the top right hand corner of the screen and then it allows you to select the transaction type so as you see as you can see there's a variety of options um, almost every transaction type I think you can make recurring so that's awesome um, right so okay so let's just set up another recurring transaction and this time we'll set up a sales receipt since we did an expense before let's do an income uh, recurring transaction. So I, I would set up a sales receipt if you're doing monthly billings um, and 
your customer pays you automatically by ACH because uh, sales receipts remember sales receipts are uh, sales forms that you enter when you're getting payment immediately okay so if you want to if you want to just invoice automatically monthly you would choose uh, the invoice and then you would you would pick the invoice if you're not sure about when you're receiving payment you're not uh, like automatically debiting their account so you would set up a recurring invoice um, and we'll call this one monthly billing for and then we could specify the client's name or um, you know however you, you choose to do it ABC customer and you could you could pick your customer from here you would have to um, let's say we're building cool cars and then um, we'll create we'll create the invoice five days in advance we'll schedule it and then you could even have them email you can have QuickBooks Online email your customer the, the invoice automatically so we'll do that automatically send emails and then this is a neat feature you could have it include unbilled charges so if you have charges that are billable to this client it's going to automatically include those on this invoice so say you're doing work for this client throughout the month and you're marking them as billable it's going to automatically include those those charges that you wanted to bill the customer on this invoice whenever it creates it and um, so we'll do this one monthly on the say we bill out every 15 every month and this is you could change this if you bill out bi-monthly or quarterly you could you know if you're doing quarterly you just put three months so every three months it's going to generate your uh, invoice for this client so there's, there's so many features, it's so flexible to use this. I love this feature of QuickBooks Online. And if you're not using it, you, you need to start using it. So uh, we'll set this up to start April 1st. And no ending date. And then, um, you know, you could set up like a monthly uh, revenue account like a recurring revenue type um, service you know uh, so if for a description you could write down monthly billing monthly retainer uh, for whatever type type company you have okay that, and that looks good just save the template and now as you see it appears on our list um, if you ever want to cancel a recurring transaction you could just come here remember it's you click the gear icon in the top right hand under lists and then recurring transactions and then you go to the recurring transaction that you want to delete and you click this arrow and you just mark it delete and that's it it's uh, it's off of the list and then if you want to enter a recurring transaction manually and you would use that you would use this feature like um, I would use it if I had a, like a long journal entry that I'm booking every month I would save it as a recurring transaction and then I would come into this list if I don't want it to do it automatically I would come into this list and just click use whenever I need to book that journal entry again so as you as you can see if you click use it'll take you to the bill that it was going to generate um, and that's it that, that's how you do recurring transactions in QuickBooks Online uh, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below 
and um, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future um, and like my video let me know that you you appreciate this this kind of video and I'll be sure to put out more uh, similar videos in the future thank you